in electrochemistry we have two important topics one is electrolysis and other is electrochemical cell now faraday gave some laws based on electrolysis electrolysis like the first law which is based on electrolysis is the mass of the substance deposited is equal to z into i into t what is i into t i into t is the amount of charge deposited that is equal to q now z we can relate it with like z is an electrochemical equivalent which is equal to e over 96500 now what is e e is the equivalent mass of the substance equivalent mass of the substance i is the current and t is the time taken for the electrolysis now we uh, let us take an example based on this uh, relation that is uh, alumina al2o3 is electrolyzed to furnish all the aluminum atoms now atomic mass of aluminum is given like uh, 27 g the amount of charge to prepare 5.12 kg of aluminum is like we want to prepare 5.12 kg of aluminum as we know when alumina is electrolyzed al3 plus gains 3 electron to form aluminum now one mole of electron means 1 faraday so 3 moles of electron means 3 faraday okay now 27 gram aluminum uh, 27 gram aluminum gives uh, like uses 3 faraday electricity now 5.12 kg of aluminum gives uh, uses 3 by 27 into 5.12 over 1000 so we can calculate easily the amount of electricity consumed during electric electrolysis now let us take another example current of 0.25 ampere is passed through the acidified water for 2 hours now the current is given that is 0.25 and the time is given that is 2 hours now volume of hydrogen produced at ntp is now the when water is electrolyzed the uh, it uses the 2 faraday of electrolysis now 2 over 2 that is equal to 1 the equivalent mass of hydrogen produced during electrolysis is 1 so w is equal to e over 96500 into i into t e is 1 so 1 over 96500 that is into 0.25 which is given into 2 which is equal to 0.18 uh, 01865 now 2 g of hydrogen in stp produces 22.4 liter that is 1 mole 1 mole of any gas at stp is 22.4 liter volume now 0.1865 gives 0.2016 liter which we want okay.